This is Ming the Money Alchemist. My intention for this podcast is that it amps up our manifesting game for this year. Each call will play with a topic related to money and we'll have a practice and we're going to have some fun around it. Please join me and we're going to have a great time. Hey everyone, we are at episode 100. Amazing. Thank you for being here. You know, I've been so busy with family lately um, since my dad's transition that I have to say it's been challenging. And here I stop the word, right? Because I catch myself using that word. And what we get is what the words we choose, right? So, therefore, I'm not using that word anymore. And I catch myself using the word mountain when I (laughs) refer to the things that I have to do. And I catch myself. So, I changed that up because if you're in the Pacific Northwest and you say the mountain is out, everyone knows we are talking about gorgeous Mount Rainier. So, when I say the word mountain... I'm going to think of something beautiful, you know, that I can see, right? So today, I just wanted to spend a few minutes and say Happy Lunar New Year on February 12th. It's the year of the ox. And while the ox is hardworking, we can focus on the ox as a reliable, trustworthy friend. So that's the energy that's going to be flowing this year. And I've been reading it's a good year for relationships, any kind. So... Uh, lots of networking, lots of new friends, and all kinds of things that we can co-create. And one of the traditions that I grew up with was the kids, the children, get red envelopes. And nowadays, I think people give red envelopes to, you know, their family members or their friends. Or I remember my best friend and I went to Vietnam one Lunar New Year, and we brought envelopes with uh, $1 bills or $5 bills, and we just flooded the city with them. It was just so fun. And my earliest memory, and I love this memory, is I think I was about three, three, four, or five. And my parents took me to Hong Kong, and I was at my grandma's. And I'm sitting there on the floor, and every time somebody would come in, lots of relatives, I knew there was some festive thing going on. Everybody was happy, lots of food, lots of people. And I remember thousands, well, maybe not thousands, but it felt like thousands, right, of red envelopes. I was just surrounded by them. It felt like I was being rained upon all these red envelopes. And what was inside those red envelopes? Money. And all kinds of money, too. And the the Hong Kong money is very colorful. I remember opening them, and I didn't know what money was. All I knew was something good, because everybody was really happy, and I was smiling from ear to ear. And I think there were some of them had gold coins. It was amazing. So I've always had really good memories of that money raining all over me, you know? How funny that I would become the money alchemist with money, again, raining all over me, you know, as a metaphor. So think about money pouring in on you on this Lunar New Year and, you know, celebrate. I'm having some girlfriends come. We're going to make some yummy food and have fun. And we've been playing um, Mahjong with my mom. And again, that's something from my childhood. I forgot how to play. But, um, you know, as my mom's getting older and want to get her, uh, you know, using her memory and how fun, because she was really good at it. So another thing, that's my word for the year, right? Fun. So I'm trying to inject that fun into everything that I'm doing. And I hope you all are doing the same thing. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you in two weeks. Thanks for joining me and listening in. Please go to manifestbluemoney.com for a free chapter to download from my book, Money Blues to Blue Money. See you next time.